What's going on guys? Welcome to God Driven TV with your boy LaShawn Taylor. We're back. Back like I never left. Um, yeah. So we're gonna get straight into this video. I ain't gonna do no prolonging. Man, I'm excited. It's my first video showing you guys how I can make a custom birthday outfit. The theme is Coco Melon. The customer actually supplied the shirt and overalls. I'm gonna post a picture of the uh, idea on the screen. Here's the shirt. The shirt that we, that we'll be applying some pressure to. And here's the overalls. So yeah, as uh, you'll see how uh, everything looks in the picture like how the overalls and the shirt look in the picture and uh, basically what I'll be doing is applying pressure for all you guys who may not know I have a business called pressure prints I make custom gear like I, I make custom t-shirts custom canvas home decor I, I do all things custom and I, I don't just stick to one thing you know, a lot of people just stick to one thing that they know, get it, get as much information to be able to, you know, do it that way. But what I like to do, I like to broaden things. I because you know, as a business, you just gotta, you gotta keep going, gotta keep the momentum going. You always gotta come out with new ideas. Always gotta make sure that you're ahead of the game. So you know, my wife, my wife and I, you know, we always make sure that um that we come up with different ideas as as far as my business goes, and we'll execute them that way so yeah i do a whole bunch of custom i do custom everything you know i'm not limited to just one thing custom everything which you guys will see on this channel as well so yeah we just gonna go ahead and get started i already started getting pictures on uh on the internet of everything that i needed to get cut out i'm gonna show y'all how i uh go about that Oh, what is y'all doing? So here we got as our uh, cutout. So what we're gonna do is uh, weed this thing out. Basically you go at the edge of your cut and you peel that. And I'm using dark transfer, of course. you get an edge you basically just peel the part that was cut out right, and everything will put will cut out peel off pretty smoothly all right so just finished cutting all the pictures weeded them out next thing we're gonna do is the shirt and that requires another picture, not that, just one single picture, and then a uh, vinyl. Getting ready to um, choose. I don't think I'm gonna use the same purple that's on the um, the overalls in the picture. I might go with like a rose gold glitter vinyl, you know, just to make it a little different. You know, we want it to be similar to the uh, the picture, but. Um, you know, just a little, just a little, a little pressure. You know, just so you know it's made by me. Let me add a little pressure to that thing, all right? So, stay tuned. All right. So I got everything cut out, and here's for the the toughest part of this whole project, which is all the paint on the overalls 
you know it's a lot of different colors it's just a bunch of like random splatter and normally i wouldn't this is actually my first time ever doing something like this because normally stuff like that becomes pre-made and then you can add your own type of pictures or or vinyl or whatever it is that you may want to use to customize it but this right here this is a blank overall and i'm about to do something i've actually never done for the first time i'm going to be using a whole bunch of different color vinyl to do it and, and basically i got like i went on on google you know google when you're in this business google is your best friend this is where you find a whole bunch of ideas you know this is how you get creative and creativity gets you business and that's that's 100 percent. that's a gem always be creative in what you do and what you make and what you and then everything really creativity is key is one of the keys really i went to google got a whole bunch of like paint splatter images and i uh you know got them transparent and then i uh uploaded them to the cricket design space basically i'm just going to be putting a uh all the splatters and all the different paint looks onto to the mat and i'm gonna just have it cut up cut out that way and we you know we're gonna make some magic happen this is what you call applying major pressure and that's all i do in this business is apply pressure buddy all I do is apply pressure because pressure is key and pressure makes diamonds and that's the quality of work that you're going to get from me. Alright, here we go. Let's get it. What's going on guys? Yeah, so last night I actually ended up going to sleep. This whole cutting out the splatter thing is a whole process. Like I, had, I ended up setting it up to where I would cut enough for on one sheet of vinyl. And I, I left it in here overnight because, yeah, I wasn't about to stay in here and do all that. But, um, yep, be back next morning. Um, uh, I got a lot cut out already, so I'm getting ready to start applying it to the overalls. I have everything set up. I got everything, not everything exactly, but I got a couple uh, <clears throat> paint looking splatters on the overalls. I'm probably going to do some more. But I just wanted to uh, give y'all a visual of how I um, how I got it going. And basically, I made a whole bunch of different slats. Like, I cut them. And then, uh, from cutting them, I, uh, I uh, cut them into even smaller pieces, you know. So, it can have, like, you know, just different splattered uh, looks, different splatter effects to it. Um, Alright, so now I'm about to get um, pressing. Alright, so I use a a Cricut press, easy press, Cricut Easy Press 2. I actually have a I have two sizes. I have the biggest size and then I have um a 9 by 9 I believe it is. And I'll, I'll probably make another video explaining to you guys why I decided to use the easy press over a heat press. But anyway, let's get let's get the pressing, man. Applying this pressure. Alright, so after all the pressing, this is what the final outcome looks like. looks just like a whole bunch of paint paint got splattered onto the the overalls pretty dope look that it gave it all right so we're gonna go ahead and apply the name on the overalls and then we're gonna go ahead and apply the the words on the shirt and all the pictures we're back just got finished pressing Pull the items on the shirt, everything on the uh, overalls. About to get ready to show you how the outcome. Everything came out dope. Everything is, looks fire. So, here we go.
So that was the finished product. Appreciate y'all for, you know, watching this video, seeing how I apply pressure. You know, it wasn't as detailed as uh, a lot of people show on here, but uh, this is my first video. You know, I just wanted to see uh, basically what you guys would think about it because, you know, I don't want to do anything that's not going to be beneficial to you guys. You know, I just wanted to take it slow. This is a little entry video for many more to come, you know, so hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. I appreciate y'all. Yo, make sure y'all like comment subscribe to the channel share with your friends your family anybody you may know who may be interested in getting into this business of uh t-shirt printing or just doing custom printing with uh whatever they may desire to do you know just make sure you share it man i appreciate it all yo and as always we're gonna keep applying this pressure because that's all we do on this channel applying pressure to every aspect of life because life is limitless Let's get it.